Hey everybody, Vicki Cicliano here from Say Wow Marketing. I've got a question for you. Do you want to know how you can further optimize your podcast using ID3 tags? Well, it's really simple. And in this quick video, I'm going to walk you through step by step the process of adding ID3 tags to your podcast file. Stay tuned. So right now, the screen that I'm in is in Audacity. Audacity is the program that I use to not only create, but also edit my podcasts and add ID3 tags to them. I go to File, Export Audio. This is the file that I've created and it's all edited. Um, and then I just choose a file name and I hit OK. Here is the screen where you're going to edit metadata or add ID3 tags, it's the same thing. So artist name is what you call yourself, okay? So I like to include not only my name, but also I include a pipe, which is one key above the enter key. You have to hit shift and then the back um, slash pipe, and then whatever else you wanna have along with your name. Okay, more pipes, whatever, and here's your keywords. Then the track title is whatever your episode is called. So this particular one was SEO and podcasting podcast titles. I'll call it that. Then the album title is the name of your podcast. And you use pipes there too for whatever keywords you want associated with it. So when people are looking for SEO, want them to come find me, I include it there. Social media as well. And I'll just say visual marketing for now. Then we've got a track number is the track number for that particular episode, which is 117. The year, get into the juicy stuff one second. Okay, genre, online marketing. And whatever other keywords have to do specifically with this episode so people can find it, right? So it's podcasting. I like to use podcast hyphen title. Anytime you have a two word keyword, you want to include a hyphen in between. Otherwise, iTunes and some of the other podcast hosts will put them together. So make sure you include a hyphen there. Um, and I'll include SEO. Okay. Now hit Control A, which will choose all of that text. Control C, which will copy it. And then you go into the comments field and then the other field that's just there, just for the heck of it, because we're talking about SEO and your ID3 tags, okay? These are going to get loaded into your podcast host, your, your feed, whatever is feeding wherever your podcast is, okay? So then we're going to click OK. And that's it. Then it's exporting the file and all of our ID tags will be saved right there, attached to the audio file. So now I want to show you where those ID3 tags show up. Just right click on the file name in your uh, directory and you click properties and that's where you can see under details the extra keywords that are attached to your file. Okay, so if you have any questions, please post your comments below this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.